like I said, disclaimer. Disclaimer. <laughs> uh, I am not saying please pay attention to me. Just to let y'all know that. Just in case anyone goes like, oh, she's saying pay attention to her. Like she's just begging for attention. I'm not. I'm just going like, hey, everybody got pretty quiet. But I had to realize that there is a lot of people who don't like me now. Who think I'm a bad person. Who believe without a doubt that I am a horrible person. Even me saying this now. I don't expect anyone to believe me. And you don't have to. All I ask is that if I do something or if I'm making something, just please, just, if you don't have anything else to say, just please just don't say anything at all. I just want to make stuff and do stuff. I'm, right now, I'm, I'm trying to build back up my pictures because I haven't been drawing. I, my, this, the significant, my significant other that I am with now has made me a little bit more confident about posting on Twitter. Only a little. I'm still very nervous about posting anywhere. I'm not in that many pony servers. Just tonight, I had winning two pony servers and I'm already nervous about that. So, yeah, there's not much greatness that came out of this experience at all. There's, so, that person who posted a lot of stuff, which y'all know who I'm referring to. If you don't, I'm still not going to say names. I'm not trying to poke at anybody. I'm just saying this is what happened. The person that spread this stuff everywhere on Twitter, pretty famous, you know, um, and there's a lot of people who go like, oh, well, say Angel's this really, really, really horrible person now. And I'm just like, well, I, I don't know what to do about it because there's nothing I can do. I mean, against the big crowd, what can I do? I'm lost for words and lost on what to say. That's why I've been, I've been just hiding. I've been hiding. I I stopped voice acting and singing. I mean, like I stopped voice acting a little bit beforehand because I felt like a lot of people just weren't looking for what I was doing. Even though some people gave compliments and stuff like that, some people still weren't, you know, pleased. And, of course, there's, there's nothing I can do about that. I know I have to keep moving on. It's just really hard for me. Like, it's really hard. I have generalized anxiety disorder and PTSD. It's not going to be easy. I'm constantly having dreams of the person that I had the argument with, the fight with, coming back us talking about it and everything there's just this dream this reoccurring dream that they come back and we're talking or we're arguing or something like that it's I always dream about it I don't know but it's made this journey very very lonely and very hard to deal with and if that's what they were trying to accomplish to make me feel very lonely, then great. That's accomplished. I don't know what else to say. Other than I did get um I did get out of my court my court case. There was there was evidence from my side. I think there was evidence from their side. But they just decided that the case was too small. They chalked it up to, well, not enough evidence. I don't know why. But I basically did the requirements that they asked me to do to get rid of the court case. 
So now I know that I'm just free from that. So no more court case, no more possible, possible jail. I'm glad about that. Everything else just hurts. So it's like you have it's like you have someone hitting you. They're punching you. They're slapping you every day. They're, they're smacking you. People like but but yeah, like they're hitting you, they're smacking you, they're punching you. And then they stop. Like they stop for a good couple of months. And then you get away from them. And people are like, well, why aren't you over that? But that was like two, three months ago. This person like kept punching you and kicking you and stuff like that. I mean, I know that's been going on for six, seven, eight years, but why are you worried about it? It's like, well, the destruction, the person that can make the destruction can be removed. But the aftermath can't. What goes on mentally or physically cannot be removed that easily. It won't. It won't be that easy to just go like, boop, blam, it's gone. What happens when? After that person is punching you, you're gonna flinch at people when they try to, you know, come up and hug you. You don't think they're about to hit you. You know, if somebody does this and tries to play with you, you don't think they're about to punch you. Somebody comes over and play punches you. You wanna curl up into a ball and freak out and be like, no, 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 please don't attack me, please. You're just gonna expect it. That's how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like if I go into any one of these servers, someone's gonna jump out and start screaming my name and screaming about that I'm in the server and the person is gonna, like some of these persons are gonna tell that person, my ex-best friend, and they're going to, you know, go like, oh, well, you know, oh, oh she's on our server. Here she is, right there. There's Angel. Here she is. And I'm gonna get outed again. And people are gonna come up and go, hey, well, why did you do this to this person? Why did you do that? Why did you kick them? Why did you hurt them? Why did they have to put you behind bars? Were you threatening them or something like that? It's the Brony fandom is <laughs> can that's a better word. Can be a great place. <laughs> But some things other than not can't, like you can have those really good handful, big handful of people at the end of this corner, it'd be great. Then there's other handful of people that are just busting out the doors ready to hear the drama. So it's not always that pretty, not, not always. So I, still am i still consider myself a brony and now a furry and also a weeb but the first fandom i was ever in was being a brony so it's still stuck with me and i feel like it's still going to stick with me um throughout the years even if i feel sad of anybody saying oh why do you still like that stuff it's like you know, I still like it because I still like it. It makes me happy. It brightened up my day when I felt bad, when I was, you know, being abused and going through trauma myself. So, you know, that was my safe haven. But I don't want to be here 
so long explaining every single thing that's happened in my life. Basically, <sighs> had an argument, went to jail, and I got out of it. But the damage is still, of course, going through me. Nobody really talks much. I mean, I have some people here and there that I'm able to talk to. Some people. And those people I'm grateful for that I can hold on to. Um, I wanted to send this out. Not to cry and stuff on camera or get a spotlight or something, but just to share what's been going on in my head and what's going on with me now. If anybody's out there actually wanting to know where Angel Love is, I am here. I'm still alive and kicking. I'm just, I'm just not doing things as happily as I used to. I just need to build that back up again. And I hope everybody understands what I'm going through. I'm hoping for good feedback. And if not, I don't know. There's nothing I can do about the ones that judge it. So, but yeah, I mean, thank you for clicking on this, looking at this, wondering what's going on. Have a good 